bill passed in the Indiana Senate today would allow school employees to be criminally prosecuted for providing materials considered harmful to minors. State House reporter Kristen Eskow shows us that the bill also sets up a process for parents to request inappropriate books be removed from schools. They need to put children above um, anything else and protect their minds. Rhonda Miller says her organization Purple for Parents is concerned about certain books she says parents have found in school and public libraries containing pornographic material. We have essentially comic books, I would call them, um, that have very pornographic pictures involved. Miller's group supports this bill. It would allow school employees to be charged with a level six felony when school libraries offer materials deemed harmful to minors. Under state law, that includes books or other items that contain sexually explicit content that lack literary, artistic, political, or scientific value. Parents would also be able to request the removal of books they believe are inappropriate to students. Democrats questioned the bill's author, Republican State Senator Jim Toms, about the bill's potential impact on school librarians and teachers. Don't you think that this would have a chilling effect on those folks that I just listed? If those folks that you just listed, Senator Ford, is deliberately doing what this bill is about, I hope it does have a chilling effect. Opponents argue the bill is vague and are concerned books could be removed from schools for other reasons. The Great Gatsby um, has some uh, has several inferences to sex in it. F. Scott Fitzgerald does that in his works. Um, the Great Gatsby has a lot of drinking in it. Rachel Burke runs the Indiana PTA, which opposes the bill. It's just such a slippery slope. Um, if a teacher is genuinely worried about criminal charges, are they? What books are they going to pull out of their library? From the Indiana State House, I'm Kristen Escow.